This week on the album of the week, we're going over Wasa from Mama Moo's debut EP, Maria. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lady, and we are here again today for another album of the week. Yeah, today we have some more Wasa action on the channel. I'm so excited because I love me some Mama Moo. If you didn't know that, now you do. Today we need to give a huge shout out and thank you to Sunny for this request. And if you want to request or vote for Album of the Week, so you can do that on my Patreon, patreon.com slash letermark. Sunny says here, this is her first mini album and it solidified her as Korea's queen of queens. Deeply introspective, incredible versatility and showcasing the full potential of her unique vocals. She said that she'll let me interpret the meaning for Maria myself and but you'll need the context that Maria is Wasa's baptismal name. When it's hard to quantify the success of a song, Maria is undoubtedly one of the biggest in K-pop history and currently sits at number 77 of the most viewed K-pop videos of all time. She is the only soloist in the top 100s besides Psy and the members of BTS and Blackpink. Go ahead. Honestly, I will give Wasa and the members of Mamamoo the flowers. They really did the damn thing and they deserve the credit, you know? Slight side story, but important. LMM is an incredible emotional battle that took on new meaning in late 2023 after the suicide of actor Lee Sun Kyun. While his story is complicated, in all essence, he was harassed by the media and the police after being falsely accused of drug use until he felt there was no way out. The SBS Drama Awards were held the same day as his funeral and there was so much grief and anger in the room held by all the colleagues who had loved him. Hwasa was scheduled to appear and sing her newest singles, Chili and I Love My Body, but she changed her entire set the day before and performed LMM instead of a tribute. I was just reading that and I got chills, so um, I'm very excited to hear that one, even though I'm worried about it being emotional. Just to let you guys know we have also gone over two songs already on this album we've gone over kidding featuring zico and it might have been one of my i think it was my first swasa video ever but we've also gone over twit recently too so we have five new songs and videos to go over today so i hope that you're excited let's jump in and thank you again so much to sunny for all the context the first song we're going over today is the intro intro nobody else and it looks like we have a video here too i don't know if we have lyrics though oh same. Oh, also same. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Oh, same. I know, I know, stop, but like, same. Nobody else. No one's gonna help you. Okay. Nobody else. Okay, well, there goes my, my hope and validation. You've done a really great job. Her vocals are so beautiful. Beautiful. I was about to say it's such a slow song, but we jumped right into it. Oh, Maria. Dave, don't call me out. Damn. Wasa, you don't have to call me out like that. Like, okay, well, I see that we're going to be in an emotional journey on this one here, okay? I mean, there's a lot of people that hint at the fact that like, hey, you know, you need to love yourself and nobody's gonna love you if you don't love yourself. How the hell you gonna love somebody if you can't love yourself? Can I get an amen? Type stuff. But the way that she sang it to me, it was just really, really emotional. It really just opened up my eyes and was like, hey, you right there, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, me? And she said, yeah. Anyway, beautiful song. I love the little compilation of clips it really shows she has put in the work 
Burke, W-E-R-K, through her entire career. So I'm proud of you. Just know that we love you. And if anybody's out there saying that y'all love me, like I know, I know, I get it. But like, sometimes life's hard, bitch. Sometimes life's hard. Okay, the next one we're gonna go over today, Um, hopefully it's a happier one. I don't see it being happier. <laughs> but this is the video that's number 77 in the top most viewed K-pop videos. This is Wasa Maria. Let's go, I'm so excited for this. Okay, not what I was expecting. I love this though. I'm, I'm not the funeral, but the art. Sorry. Okay, girl. <laughs> The blood. Oh. No, it won't. Let them know. I'm too booked and busy. You are beautiful. No freak, no fake. Here you go. Hey. This is such a back at you type song. And also having fun while doing it. These visuals are so beautiful, but I love those little like earth tone outfits. You're be Break it down then. Hey, hey, hey. She is so cool. You are beautiful. You are. Okay, art style was so through the roof with this one. Oh, it's my girls. It's my girls. Hey, sisters. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I love how she included them at the end too. It was like, hey, okay, my girls are here. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Okay, I really enjoyed that song and the video too. I love how she was telling herself like, well, telling everybody else like, what the fuck? What do you get out of this? You really think you're gonna get fed by being mean to me? No, it's not gonna help anything. You're wasting your time and your energy and I'm stopping. I am no longer going to be doing that. And I love that. I love the visuals of this too. Her dancing 
interesting. I love all the beat changes in this. Y'all know the production side is my favorite. I low-key was watching this. I was like, have I seen this before? Something in me was telling me I've seen it before, but I think I've just seen the title of the album and maybe some clips within the Mama Moo compilations that I've watched before. I don't know though. Y'all let me know if I haven't seen that. If I have seen that before, I mean, I don't know why I don't remember it that much, but it was really good. So I think I would have remembered it. Okay, I'm sorry, but that was a banger. I'm so sorry to tell. Y'all, Um, I love it. Maria, you deserve everything and more. Good job, sis. All right, like I said, we have watched Kidding already. We're moving on to a song called Why. Let's get it then. Fuck it, easy love. Her voice is so unique and crisp and clean and just in your face. Uh. It's like once again sexy with lyrics like this. She was talking to her haters with this album. I'm sorry. I bet she was dancing so sexily to it too. I mean, like... Uh. to me. I just can imagine the choreography to this. Yeah, I love it though because she's being so vulnerable. I'm so stupid. I just want to love you. <laughs> it's given like sexy runway song too. What? That was bad. I'm sorry. Take it back. I take it back. Why don't you love me? Okay, that was why. I love how too from the title, it's not called Why Don't You Love Me. It's just called Why. It can be applied and applicable to a bunch of different things. And she's over here saying like, why am I so fucking stupid? And why do I love you? And then why don't you love me? But watch. You love me if I put on the sexy chorus? And if that's not what it was or whatever, um... <laughs> That's what I took from it. I did really enjoy it though. Uh, it was given Wasa vocals clear, concise, beautiful, but also add this little bit of like emotion to it, a little grittiness to it. And I really appreciated it because the grittiness adds to the thoughts of like, why don't you love me? You can feel that anger and feel that resentment kind of in the beat itself, if that makes any sense. And I liked that. I did. All right. The next one we're going over today is Wasa. I'm bad too. Featuring DPR live. And I got to see DPR live in an interview recently. And I kind of liked him a lot. So excited to see him in some music. This is I'm Bad 2 featuring DPR Life. Little guitar here. Yeah. I'm bad too. That's too bad. 
It's like also, but the number two, you know what I mean? Big Brother Energy. It's all fucked up. Let it flow. Okay, that's I'm bad too. Okay, Wasa, I loved you on that. That was great. But let's talk about DPR live in that. The entire verse was him being like, bitch, what did you just say about Wasa? And that just fits into this wholeness of the album of her talking about how she gets so much hate and so much resentment towards her. And she's like, why? And then her friends like DPR live come over here and be like, if you got something to say, say it to my face. How about that? How about I'll show you something outside in the parking lot real quick? <laughs> Not to be a bad baby, but catch me outside. How about that? Um, it sounds like DPR is going to go to bat for you, Wasa. And I'm absolutely upset with it he as a um a rapper was definitely giving me like some nam juni vibes with the way he was rapping especially if they always like i'm sad too it's just something about like that rap singing voice that they had i don't know something good but she was just like bitch i'm bad and dpr live was like and i'm badder y'all have something to say say it to say it to me leave wasa's name out of it she don't deserve the hate and i love that i love his giving big brother energy sticking up for her i don't know who's older but at the end of the day obsessed obsessed i'm bad too she said yeah and i got my boys with me to prove it so how about that okay wasa i see you i see you all right y'all the last one we're going over today is lmm uh this is a music video that we do have and i i think we got all of our happiness out the way because this might be sad i didn't realize we had like a visuals with it too so it's gonna make it sadder i think but this is wasa lmm it's like almost my initials by the way so that's why i keep getting tripped up but anyway okay that's a beautiful pool i'm sorry it's not about that but okay what is that pool? Don't worry about it. Y'all know I love me some strings. The strings are going to get my emotions immediately activated. Imagine her singing this at the awards also. We? Like we in?
these like arrows coming at her. It's like all the people in life that have really just thrown arrows her way when she's just minding her own business. And that's what I'm thinking about. She's like, I'm chilling in my own damn house right now. And like, y'all are throwing your hateful words at me. escape the arrows they're fighting her everywhere i don't really know exactly what this song's about but i just lost sight like all the arrows will always constantly come and every now and then one will hit you but you have to get back in that field of flowers and frolic and live your life to the fullest you can't let them get you down oh girl don't you start crying we were doing so well me meaning me I feel like I've seen this imagery too, so it has to have been from a compilation that I've seen. But it is so symbolic what you hear with the song too. It's like they stripped her down, the arrow snapped her dress or something, right? No, maybe not. <gasps> Look at all that. That's all of y'all. That's being b would It's so beautifully shot too. Whoever did this. Project director, Lee Subin. Amazing job. The scenery is actually crazy. That house is wild. But the arrows is what really gets you. Seeing all those different arrows, of course they have to be CGI because I don't think it would be safe to not do CGI. But at the end of the day, I know Waz is a bad bitch. So she may have been like, shoot the arrows at me, I'll dodge. <laughs> I don't know. I did love that. That was a very, very emotional song too. And I cannot imagine with the lyrics that I just read today being on stage at that live performance and how emotional that must have been. Anyway, beautiful to watch. Lovely music video. Very emotional. And this whole album has really just been a diary from Wasa saying, yeah, I'm a baddie, but I have feelings too. And like, though you think that you're going to try to get me down, sometimes you may hit me with that arrow. But out of all the millions of arrows that y'all have been throwing at me, one arrow is not going to make me stop, you know? So I don't know that's the, the uh, what it is but that's what i got from it all right everybody that was maria from wasa the album of the week like i said we also went over twit too so that was actually really recently so you should be able to find that on my channel but intro nobody else we started off with the emotions and then i'm just gonna skip down to lmm also ending it pretty much on emotional ride for me in this video even though twit would be last to kind of get our, our emotions back up but in this video i started to end with some sadness with some real sadness lmm we just went over it but it's it's a beautiful message i think and i feel like it 
it can be applicable to a bunch of different situations. So I'm so happy to see her take that turn into something more uplifting and positive at the award ceremony. Also, let's talk about Maria. Maria was so good. I love the video for that one. I love the production of that one so much. I think Maria is my fave that we've gone over. So good job, Maria. Why, 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 why? I ask myself that question every single day and now I can have a song to go along with it. <laughs> and then I'm bad too. I love DPR live on this one. I love how he had this big brother energy sticking up for Wasa being like, hello, I heard you've been talking ish. Come say it to our faces. I'll show you the real, real, you know? Yeah, and everybody needs somebody like that, a ride or die. <laughs> I hope that you all enjoyed this once again. Thank you so much to Sunny. This was such a beautiful album and a great debut from the one and only Wasa from Mama Moo. If you like this, make sure you click like and subscribe down below. I'll be back with more videos soon, but until then, remember, I love you. Bye. I'd love to know them by name. So.